Divine Truth Events These are events and presentations by Jesus and Mary. This presentation is part of the Relationship with God series. The topic is Putting it all together. Presented by Jesus on the 10th of August 2013 in town of Mergen, Queensland, Australia. This is session one, part one. Um, AJ, I'm sitting in that area of um, unawareness of the fear and not wanting to um, go there. So would the best way to start would be to ask God to show me my true self. Would the fear be revealed in that? Most of us don't want to know our true selves. So where's the best way to start? Being honest. And just saying to yourself, I don't want to know my true self. Mm. And then what would you do if you were really wanting to progress? You'd say, I don't want to know my true self. Obviously, I'm going to have to know my true self sooner or later. What would you do next? Um, well, I'd, I'd try to engage a relationship with God so I can... A relationship you know. with God won't be possible while you don't want to know yourself. So what's the point in trying to have a relationship with God when you don't want to know yourself? See, see what I would do is this. If I worked out that I don't want to know me, I don't... Really, what you're saying is you don't want yourself. You don't want to be yourself. You don't want to know yourself. You don't want yourself. This is a common problem, right, for many people. You don't yep. want yourself. If I felt that and I knew that to be true, my very next course of action is, okay, I know that the only way I can change is by feeling. Humility tells me that. The only way I'm going to change on this belief is by feeling it. Feeling that I don't want to know myself. Yeah, feeling you don't want to know yourself. So, and then when you feel you don't want to know yourself, you will then feel why. That will be the subsequent result of feeling that you don't want to know yourself. You will then feel why you don't want to know so yourself. So the why won't come before the, the feeling initially. No. See, many of you are trying to put the why before the feeling. Yeah, we You're were having this discussion this all last the time. night. And I keep saying to you, there is a feeling above a feeling, not a thought. Right? Many of you still are trying to have thoughts before you have feelings. So, so what you do is you go, okay, I know I'm not progressing, I'm not, not doing this, I'm not, not doing that. I wonder why that is. And you use your mind and you're trying to work out why. No, no, stop. Just stop all of that. Feel that you don't want to know. Feel it. How much you don't want to know about yourself. Feel that. Feel how angry you are about having to know yourself. Feel, feel those feelings. Well, I think the first step for me is not wanting to know myself, is that I'd have to let go of my control to know myself first, wouldn't I? So feel your control. Yeah. How, feel your control. Sit down with your control every day and notice every single time you try to control. Feel it. Feel the level of your control. That's feeling your addiction. Feel your addiction. Feel the level of control. Feel how much you want to control. And when you feel it, you'll work out why you want to control. And you won't work it out here because the, thought, the feelings will just come up. Oh, this, I want to control because every time I don't get to control, I'm trying, you, know, you work out that you're trying to avoid some emotion. One might be only one emotion you're trying to avoid. And you'll work it out because you've felt that you want control. Many of you don't even realize you want control. I'm putting, I'm putting to you that every single one of you who are single in the audience today, unless you're below 25, every single one of you in the audience today who is single below 25 wants control. That's one of the reasons why you're not with a partner, because you want control. Right? Many of you who are with a partner right today still want control, and you've got a partner you could control. You took many years to find him or her, right? <laughs> And now you've got him, Hillary, you're not going to let him go because you won't control. Uh, they are your ideal partner because they are the person that gives you everything that you want. Right? Many of us are not willing to see that. We're not willing to see that. We're not willing to see what's going on inside ourselves in reality. Right? So, so, how many of you are ladies who are single? Just out of interest, yeah? Right. It's almost you know, probably 40% of the audience, maybe. That's a lot in a percentage, isn't it? 
40% uh, of the audience. Have you ever given consideration to the fact that you're not very pleasant to live with? Have you given consideration to that? Okay, what do you want to do about it? You see, at the moment, you're letting your fear dictate that. The reason why you've become unpleasant to live with is because of your fear. It's only because of your fear. It's the things you're afraid of facing inside of yourself, feelings you're afraid of having inside of yourself that would cause that to occur. Right? Feel that. Feel that. Allow yourself to feel it, because when you feel it, you'll realise why. When you realise why, you can change. But you're not going to change until you realise why. You see, feel what you, what, what you currently don't want. See, many times I say to people, and you, many people have asked this question, maybe I should just develop my relationship with God more. Well, you can't develop a relationship with God when you don't want to know yourself. And you don't want to be truly honest with God about yourself. So it would be far more, from God's perspective, God will feel far closer to you if you honour the fact that you don't want yourself, you don't want to feel yourself, and you feel how much you don't want to. In that moment, you will be closer to God than you've ever been before, actually. Right? You don't have to do anything else other than feel that in that moment. But what I see most of you trying to do is you're trying to work out what's going on before you feel. Your feeling of fear will stop you from even working it out. You need to feel your fear first and the less let go of some of the fear and then you'll work it out. But many of you want to know before you feel. Is that not a problem for the majority of us in fact? We want to know things before we feel them. Because we want to know that we're not crazy, we're not stupid, that it's a real feeling, that we've justified having the feeling. We even go to other people, you see, I have this feeling because. Who cares why you have the feeling? Just feel it. Like many of you still get involved in this discussion. You, how, how have you felt this week? I feel, I feel this, and I realised that it's because of this, and because of that, and because of this that I feel that. Well, what about you? So, oh, yes, I had this, I had this thing come up, and I realised that because of this. Because, what's going? Why are you doing this for? It's a waste of time because you're not feeling it. If you felt it truly, you wouldn't need to do it. In fact, you wouldn't even need to discuss it with another person if you felt it truly. You would just feel it. We are addicted to having other people be involved in our own emotional work. We are addicted because we want certain things from them. We want them to make us feel safe. We want to know that because someone else is going through it, it means that my feeling is valid. We want to know that because someone else is experiencing a similar thing or they've had an emotion this week, that that means I'm allowed to have one too. And it's all just rubbish actually. It's all just our fear dictating our f further progress. And what are the fears? They are the fears you don't see. The fear of other people's approval. The fear of acceptance. The fear of not having any acceptance. The fear of not having other people like you. The fear that other people don't agree with you and you're the only person on the planet who actually feels that particular thing. The fear that you're stupid, that you're strange, that you're crazy, that you're weird. That you're All of these fears are the fears that you try to make go away by having somebody else come along and have a chat with them about your feelings. You're making all, so, so you're actually in addiction dealing with your emotion. Now, can you really ever deal with an emotion while you're in addiction? Of course you can't. You're only going to be dealing with the emotion that your fear is allowing you to deal with. So for, for many, I feel what's going on is this. Our fear has become like a prison, right, of our own making. So you imagine, for many of us, this is what it's like. 